Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. If you enjoy shopping and handbag videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. You'll super love it. I have been still in lockdown, guys. So yeah, if you're in Melbourne or if you're in lockdown anywhere in the world, I feel for you. And I've had a lot of time to reflect. And well, I've only been in lockdown for all three days so far. And I have a feeling it may be extended by the sounds of things. But I chain watched uh, the Netflix series Holston the other day and oh my gosh guys if you haven't watched it yet like I really enjoyed it if you're into like fashion and you know learning about different fashion designers it is a really good series so I'd really recommend it. I started thinking like I feel like bigger bags are gonna become more in fashion only because I had noticed things that I like about bags and the bags I'm tending to gravitate to lately have been a little bit bigger than the usual mini bags. I know a lot of people have been saying that because of the pandemic we've been just wearing like really mini bags and I guess like carrying our groceries and like you know grocery bags but for me actually I'm finding a like more softer kind of lived in kind of oversized bags could be something that people find a little bit more practical and today I want to talk about styles that I think will become a little bit more in fashion than they were maybe two years ago. Um, I had to buy a few things at the shops but I just bought my Chanel uh, 19 bag which is not a mini bag well this is the small size I wouldn't say it's a massive bag but you know in the past few years guys I have been kind of gravitating more towards like my Chanel rectangle mini which I feel like a lot of people were just collecting so many Chanel mini bags and even you know the Nano Speedy and all the little Nano Louis Vuitton bags even like you know things like the mini Lady Dior and just the smallest bags and I do think they are still definitely in fashion I'm not saying that but I think you know a lot of people were just completely ruling out the really big styles and to be honest I actually think a lot of people are going to find them a lot more useful in the future than all these little mini bags my Chanel 19 um I have inside like a massive pouch which I keep in like you know hand sanitizer you know sometimes you might need tampons or something or even just to give to your friend if they need and you know a mirror I've got extra makeup in here and you know face masks and you know sometimes you just want to like you know bring perfume and like mirror and you know ex extra lipstick concealer and you know I find that, that with something like you know a mini bag you really can't you don't have the freedom to like really go crazy and really bring everything that you truly want and even I'm finding like if I want to start vlogging like I need to bring like a little tripod or a selfie stick and that's probably not going to fit in my mini bags another thing is guys I think a lot of people um they may have like a personal phone and a work phone so two phones as well um are very annoying to fit in one like mini bag and yeah that's why I think like these kind of mid to oversized bags are gonna be I don't know more useful for us recently I've been using my Chanel 19 because it actually fits things into it the tote because it just it fits everything I need I don't have to downsize anything it's like my Picatin um it's also a style that you can just throw things in you don't have to worry about it and it's you know a very soft structure Anyway guys, let me go over bags that I think are underrated and what I think they will, I think they're going to become like more in fashion. So I'll talk about Chanel. Now, I think, you know, those vintage jumbo bags, um, I think they will kind of become more into fashion. I don't think all big bags are going to be fashionable. I think it's more of those soft, softer structure, kind of more lived in styles that will kind of become more relevant. And that's because I think from the pandemic a lot of people were dressing in a lot more relaxed way and they want something kind of soft and comforting to kind of carry that can just throw in all their necessities so something like you know an oversized Chanel flat bag even something like the extra extra large uh, flap which is super oversized with that it's got a good slouch to it and you can really just go crazy and put your whole life in there you know you can put in your phones your your makeup your you know hand sanitizers and everything the bigger 2.55 reissue styles they also have a really nice kind of softness to them in a slouch and I think because they have that distressed calf skin they're a little bit more like edgy and 
casual so you could definitely style those with more relaxed outfits as well and even seasonal kind of softer Chanel bags like those denim Chanel bags I think are super kind of fashionable at the moment because they've got that same softness and drape and smooshiness to them um you know they're a lot easier to wear comparing to a you know a typical Chanel flat bag which is got a lot more structure to it you know something like even the medium Chanel classic flap that is not something you can necessarily you know go crazy and put like a giant pouch in there and like you know your two phones and you really need to be strategic with these kind of more structured smaller Chanel bags whereas those more softer you know fabric or bigger reissue styles I feel like you have a little bit more freedom to carry what you actually need also guys I feel like with Louis Vuitton a bag that comes to mind is probably the on the go tote this is another bag um, that you could definitely wear freely you could just throw in everything you need it's a little bit more I feel like stylish than the Neverfull nothing wrong with the Neverfull guys but it's just like you know it's kind of been played out for quite some time so I think the on the go tote is a good alternative to the Neverfull um, another one if you want a bit more of a vintage vibe I was thinking like the croissant GM because I feel like that whole baguette shape is still very fashionable at the moment and um, yeah, the baguette GM is something you could just wear quite tightly under your shoulder and you can just put in all your daily essentials in there and I think it would look really chic. Similarly to that baguette shape, I feel like the bigger Fendi baguette styles in like the denim or like the canvas um, kind of materials are also going to be really easy to style with like, you know, tracksuits or more laid back outfits and I think these are bags that are just really effortless and easy to wear. With Dior guys, I actually think that the larger Lady Dior bags, more the vintage ones, I feel like can actually look quite on trend and fashionable. I've seen some larger Lady Dior bags in more of a fabric, like a denim or more of a soft tote style. And I think these are a little bit more unique comparing to say, you know, all those little mini Lady Dior's that everyone's been loving. And these are styles that I feel like would actually be quite practical and you could use more more casually. A lot of people say the Lady Dior looks too dressy and ladylike. And I think that's because in the smaller size, it does tend to look a little bit like that. But I think if you get it in like a softer, bigger, size it's a lot more wearable and it's kind of like a good contrast of like a lady chic and more masculine laid back look. I was also thinking about Hermes and you know a lot of people love the mini Kelly and the Kelly 25 and the Birkin 25 but you know I've seen a lot of stylish ladies rocking the bigger more oversized Birkins. Um, casually you know the ones that have more of a kind of a uh, relaxed look they're not the super structured Birkins or Kelly's the ones that look quite lived in and a bit more smooshy um you know the Birkin is essentially an oversized or it's a, a just tote bag guys so I think the ones that look a little bit lived in and larger uh you might actually find that they're quite practical and you can just kind of carry your life around in them and because it's Hermes it looks very chic now I'm really happy that I got a a Kelly 28. I'm carrying, you know, more things like these pouches and things like that. The 28 will accommodate that a little bit more. This is not really an oversized style though, so I wouldn't say it really fits into that category, but I think, you know, the whole mini bag trend, it's still there, but I feel like a lot of people will be more open to these middle size or really oversized bags going forward just because Sometimes it's quite comforting to know we have we are ready and we have things, you know, on standby. Um, especially in, in these uncertain times, you kind of just want things to comfort you. Like, you know, like you might want to carry your perfume, some gloves or some extra face masks. And, you know, with mini bags, sometimes you can't fit in those extra things. Um, yeah, guys. So also, I was thinking like randomly... Um, even like the Balenciaga motorcycle bag, like that really slouchy kind of oversized look kind of vibe, I even think that may make a comeback quite soon. I know a lot of people are kind of searching for Balenciaga motorcycle bags recently and I think that that, uh, that whole slouchy lived-in kind of bag trend 
could be making a comeback. But what do you guys think? Do you are you still obsessed with mini bags? I mean, I love mini bags as well. I'm just finding lately, I'm kind of gravitating towards more of the middle size or larger bags. I don't know why. I think I just like to carry more. But yeah, let me know. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And you know, stay safe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.